Hello everyone, in this video I will give you an updated version of my farming strategy for 3.21. In a previous video I decided to take Breach, Legion, Beasts and Harbingers. Well, I tested Breach a bit and came to the conclusion that I did not like the reward to investment ratio. So I stepped away from it and replaced it with Strongboxes, Scarabs and some Eater of Worlds nodes. So, let's go over the Atlas tree one more time. Strongboxes. Twice tempted, your maps contain an additional strongbox. Secret operations, strongboxes in your maps have 6% chance to be an operative's strongbox. Tamper proof, strongboxes in your maps are corrupted. Strongboxes in your maps are at least rare. You can skip this node if you buy the section that does the same as the node. And then I took backup cage, currency items from strongboxes in your maps are duplicated and Vault of Mysteries divination cards from Stormboxes in your maps are duplicated. Harbingers. For Harbingers I took Ominous Arrival. Your maps contain an additional Harbinger. Unspeakable Offensive. Harbingers in your maps have 60% increased cooldown recovery rate. Currency shards dropped by Harbingers in your maps can drop as currency items instead. And first wave, harbingers in your maps have 25% chance to be replaced by a powerful harbinger boss. Legion, chain of command. Legion encounters in your maps contain two additional sergeants. Legion sergeants in your maps have 20% additional chance to have rewards. Protracted battle. Legion encounters in your maps have 40% increased duration. Legion monsters in your maps take 50% increased damage while in stasis. Emblematic. 0.6% chance for timeless splinters to drop as timeless emblems instead in your maps. And I took the upper nodes to get 0.2% chance for timeless splinters to drop as timeless emblems instead in your maps. Then I took Marakev and Templar Legion chance. Legion encounters in your maps have 60% increased chance to include a Templar army. And Legion encounters in your maps have 55% increased chance to include a Marakev army. War supplies. Each Legion in your maps contains an additional War Horde. Legion chests released from stasis in your maps release other monsters and chests with 100% increased range. Face off Legion encounters in your maps are 60% more likely to include a general. Legion encounters with a general in your maps have both generals. Pillage treasures. Legion chests in your maps contain an additional random rewards and logistical support. Legion monsters in your maps which have rewards have 10% chance to gain two additional rewards and if not have 20% chance to gain one additional reward. Legion monsters in your maps gain 50% more life for each additional reward they have. For beasts I took animal companion. Your maps have 4% Chance to grant an additional Einharm mission on completion. Bestiary Beast Duplication Chance. 3% chance to create a copy of beasts captured in your maps. The next node was Big Game. Yellow Beasts in your maps have 15% chance to be replaced with Red Beasts. Then I took the Hunt for Venomous. Red Beasts in your maps have 100% increased chance to be from the Caverns. Natural Selection. Beasts in your maps are more likely to be less common varieties. And the hunt for Kraken, Red Beasts in your maps have 100% increased chance to be from the deep. And I also took all the small nodes. Your maps that contain capturable beasts have 5% chance to contain an additional Red Beast. Then I traveled up here and took Great Migration. Your maps with Einhar missions have 8% chance to contain additional packs of beasts instead of other monsters. And I took these small nodes. Red Beasts in your maps have 4% chance to appear in pairs. For Scraps, I took subtle manipulations map device has 10 percent chance to not consume scarab and the eater of world nodes would be eldritch gaze eldritch altars influenced by the eater of worlds have an additional downside eldritch altars influenced by the eater of worlds have 50 percent increased effect of upsides rampant growth eldritch icon found in your maps influenced by the eater of worlds have 10 percent chance to be duplicated monster packs influenced by the eater of worlds in your maps have two percent chance to contain an additional touching tentacle mass and the last two nodes are the shadow of hunger 20 percent increased chance to find Eater of Worlds Altars in your maps and etched by Acid. Your maps have 10% chance to award double progress towards encountering the Eater of Worlds. Map that I'm going to farm. The map that I decided to farm is called Defiled Cathedral. While Defiled Cathedral, Defiled Cathedral has a decent layout and a few very expensive divination cards that will increase the profit margin significantly when you drop 
These are the Apothecary, which is currently valued at around 39 Divine Orbs. Seven Years Bad Luck, which is currently valued at 80 Chaos Orbs. The Dragon's Heart, which is currently valued at around 70 Chaos Orbs. And the Enlightened, which is currently valued at around 40 Chaos Orbs. Scarabs that I recommend for the strategy would be Harbinger Scarabs. Air contains additional Harbingers. Divination Scarabs. Percentage more divination cards found in area. Ambush scarabs. Area contains additional strong boxes. Beast scarabs. Area contains additional red beasts. And legion scarabs. Area contains additional legion encounters. I'm well aware of the fact that you can only choose four scarabs. That's no problem since sextons can increase, for example, um, the amount of strong boxes on your maps as well. So you can theoretically just leave out the ambush scarab and you're fine. Sextons to consider. First one would be map bosses are accompanied by a mysterious harbinger. Map bosses drop additional currency shards. Harbingers in your maps drop additional currency shards. Second one would be this one. Legion monsters in your maps have 100% more life. Blinters and emblems dropped by legion monsters in your maps are duplicated. The third one would be your maps contain two additional strong boxes. Strong boxes in your maps are corrupted. Strong boxes in your maps are at least rare. Fourth one would be this one. Strong box monsters are enraged. Strong box monsters have 500% increased item quantity and your maps contain an additional strong box. And the last one that I personally would consider be this one, create a copy of beasts captured in your maps. All right, let me show you some gameplay footage of a run. I will use a Legion, Divination, Arbinger, and Bestiary Scarab. And uh, your maps contain two additional strong boxes. Strong boxes in your maps are corrupted and strong boxes in your maps are at least rare Saxon. Before we start, I wanted to mention that I forgot to tell you guys that you can, of course, use an ambush craft that gives you area contains four additional strong boxes instead of an ambush scarab. All right, let's go. One exalted orb, orb, an exhilarating sensation of victory. Let's go. 
Exalted orb, an accelerating sensation of victory. Alright, that concludes the video. I hope you found it informative. Have a nice day, guys. Bye bye.